Good morning. You are listening to Upreach, a morning devotional presented by the Church Street Church of Christ in Lewisburg, Tennessee, to encourage you as you face the opportunities and challenges of today. Let no one despise your youth, but be an example to the believers in word, in conduct, in love, in spirit, in faith, in purity. Till I come, give attention to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. Do not neglect the gift that is in you, which was given to you by prophecy with the laying on of the hands of the eldership. Meditate on these things, give yourself entirely to them, that your progress may be evident to all. Take heed to yourself and to the doctrine. Continue in them, for in doing this you will save both yourself and those who hear you. 1 Timothy chapter 4, verses 12-16 through 16. Adam Braun's book, Creed for Free Men, sets out the following qualifications of leadership. First, a leader must have the insight to see what ought to be done. Half the battle is won when we discover what is wrong and what needs to be done. Some of us drive a car without any idea of what is going on under the hood. When something goes wrong and the car stops, we are helpless. We have to take it to a mechanic. He opens the hood, he immediately diagnoses the trouble, and often it is so simple that if we had been able to see what was wrong, we may have been able to fix it ourselves. In life we can only see what needs to be done by looking at all things with the eyes of Jesus Christ and in the light which he supplies. It may well be said that the first step toward mending any situation is nothing other than praying about it. Second, a leader must have the resourcefulness to devise a way of doing what needs to be done. It is far too common a reaction to a bad situation that nothing can be done. Cavour says that the first essential of a statement is the sense of the impossible. As P.G. Wodehouse's famous Jeeves used to say, there is always a way. We may well remain defeatist when we tackle things in our own strength, but the grace of God in Jesus Christ is sufficient for all things. Third, a leader must have the wisdom to know when to do what needs to be done. George Bernard Shaw describes Fabian doctrine, which takes its name from the famous Roman general Quintius Fabius Cunctator. For the right moment you must wait, as Fabius did most patiently when warring against Hannibal, though many censured his delays. But when the time comes, you must strike hard, as Fabius did, or your waiting will be vain and fruitless. What about you today? Do you have the insight to see what ought to be done, the resourcefulness to devise a way of doing what needs to be done, and the wisdom to know when to do what needs to be done? If so, you may have what it takes to be a successful leader. Why not ask God to help you develop these skills in order to be more effective in your home and in your workplace? This has been Upreach, a presentation of the Church Street Church of Christ in Lewisburg, Tennessee. I am Kyle Bolton, the pulpit minister at Church Street, and I would like to personally invite you to come and share times of Bible study and worship with us each week. We meet every Sunday at 9 o'clock a.m. for our morning worship, followed by our Sunday school for all ages at 10.15 a.m. Then we meet again at 6 o'clock p.m. for our evening worship. We also have a midweek meeting for devotion and Bible study on Wednesdays at 6.30 p.m. I hope to see you there. Have a blessed day. Uh-huh.